distinguished guests, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, good day. The United Nations General Assembly designated October 24th of each year as United Nations Day to commemorate the official entry into force of the UN Charter and the establishment of the United Nations in 1945. The purpose of the UN's establishment is to maintain international peace and security, develop international friendly relations, and promote international cooperation in the areas of economy, society, culture, and human welfare. The Charter of the United Nations reflects people's desire for peace and their willingness and hope to maintain international security. Since its entry into force, the world has undergone tremendous changes, and the challenges facing humanity have become more complex, while global insecurity, inequality, and intolerance have spread. In this critical period of turmoil, transition, and transformation, people expect the United Nations to play a greater role. This requires every citizen of the world to work together to uphold and abide by the principles of the UN Charter. As Secretary General Antonio Guterres states in his message on United Nations Day 2022, now more than ever, we need to bring to life the values and principles of the UN Charter in every corner of the world. United Nations Day is a symbol of global solidarity and hope. Through events around the world, the day aims to raise awareness of human rights, hunger, poverty eradication, health promotion, and other issues concerning the stability of humanity and the earth. It also serves as a tool to encourage all nations of the world to respect the common framework, live together in peace, and resolve problems and disputes with wisdom. At this time, the world is being tested. The daunting global challenges are rooted in human nature, including the selfishness of nations. There are serious geopolitical divisions. After the Second World War 77 years ago, people had strong determination and intention to collectively maintain peace and the common good for all humanity. And this needs to be restored. The kindness of people and their aspirations for peace and love must be emphasized loudly, replacing any other competitive language. The key to overcoming the challenges is to return to the beginning and work on areas that need improvements. We need to reach a balanced consensus in order to continue to move forward and improve. The world in 2022 is more complex and dangerous than it was in 1945 when the United Nations was established to save future generations from the scourge of war. It is necessary to establish a culture of conscience and peace. Leaders of all countries should start with their conscience, put aside their own opinions, and start global dialogue and cooperation so that they can reach consensus and make the right decisions that will benefit the world the United Nations and the leaders of all nations must be committed to playing a role in the success of the United Nations. Realizing international peace and security through multilateral cooperation, inspiring the active participation of civil society and countries, promoting global economic prosperity, and achieving sustainable development goals. Only when we face our destiny bravely can we master our own destiny. We need to exert the positive influence of the butterfly effect with actions of love and conscience, inspire hope, 
and usher in a brighter future in an unsafe world. The happiness brought about by power, fame, and fortune is short-lived, and the satisfaction from that is illusory. The real wealth and happiness in life is the peace of mind from doing things to benefit oneself, others, and future generations. If people with power can put aside their self-interest and sincerely think about the well-being of the world, they will be able to make contributions to benefit the world. All people of the world are in the same boat. To improve the well-being of global citizens, we cannot merely take care of ourselves or isolate ourselves from the world situation. Everyone's conscience needs to be awakened to activate human kindness and good deeds. When all people follow their conscience and take real actions to promote global dialogue and cooperation with love and conscience, true global solidarity can be achieved. Unity and cooperation create multi-win results and bring harmony and stability. There will be many challenges in the future, and conscience is the antidote to all problems. United Nations Day reminds the world to learn from history and work together for the better future we want. Let us not forget the desire for freedom, democracy, and equality, as well as the vision of respect for human rights and world peace. In the post-pandemic era, we must remember the lessons of history, resolve disputes with wisdom, coexist, share co-prosperity, realize the unity and commitment of all countries, and jointly build a sustainable world of peace, solidarity, and harmony. Thank you all.